Yo, what's going on? My name is Chase. You're now tuning in Chase for our YouTube channel, which showcases my life, the things I'm passionate about, and what Arkansas has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button because if you didn't know, once you click that subscribe button, you let everybody know that this channel is valuable. Share this video with your friends and family and let them know Chase where it's popping. Let's get in today's video. Nah, for real. I pull on no star for real. I hop in the whip and take off, you know, on my mom. Driver Squad, what's going on? Chase Way back with another video. Today's video, we will be going over the transportation category on Cash App. Let me put y'all up on the screen real quick. Three, two, one, let's go. Heading over to Cash App. This is where I, um, I go through the categories on Cash App and I try to find the best stocks for the both of us, to be honest. I'm not a financial advisor or a financial planner or your personal financial investor or anything like that. I basically share my opinions and I basically just share where I'm putting my money by following a certain principles. And that's what my channel is all about. For anybody that's new, um, if you would like to have access to this workbook that I'm about to pull up, the link will be down below. And shout out to Chris Johnson on Instagram. This wouldn't be possible if I didn't follow you on Instagram. So shout out to you. Now in transportation, I tried to look for the best stock. And we found a lot. And it's about to be a dip in the market. Something, something is coming. Something is coming. And I really don't know what it is, but something is coming. So you have every, all the stock and their stock price right now. And it's pretty fair. But what we do and the principle that we follow, we, we find our 200 moving day average and multiply by 0.8 simply because the market is not gonna go exactly uh, 100%. So you just wanna just predict it to be at least 80% as far as uh, I also find all my um, numbers and I get all my calculation and data from uh, stock charts. Uh, so I normally just enter the simple right here and I'm gonna just, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna just go through how, and I'm gonna showcase what I do to get my stock. So, so far we have a lot of stocks. It's gonna be a lot of opportunity to make some money. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of opportunity to make some money. Obviously Hertz, that's the highest one right now. And let's look it up. HTZ let's look it up okay so even though Hertz filed for bankruptcy but it's not the bankruptcy uh, chapter 13 or 14 one of them is when everything is gone it's a chapter it's like a it's like a restructure when you file for bankruptcy get that debt off your bed and stuff like that so right now Friday uh, today is June 15th, right before the market is about to open up at 8.30 between, uh, for Central Time, it's 8.30 to 4.30. And then everyone else, you just go from there. So let me see, you got Central, and then you got Eastern Time Zone, so there will be 9.30 to 5.30. Then you got Mountain Pacific, that will be uh, 7.30 to 3.30. And then you got Pacific uh, time zone, which would be 6.30 to 2.30. Did, did the numbers, okay. Uh, so it closed out at $2.83. And as you see, even the 50 day moving average, is going to continue to go up. So what I end up doing, I end up putting $100 in and we're going to see what, what happens. Uh, but in the next 20 days, the data is reporting that it will be up $11.43. Now, what you will want to do with that is take that and multiply by 0.8, which you will get, uh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up, let me put it up. Which you will get uh, $9.14. If it goes up to that ballpark, 
you will get a return rate of $223. I mean, 223.1111%. I said 11. 11 11 uh point 11 percent on your return so basically whatever you how much money that you put in how many shares you obtain you would just let's just say you just bought one share oh for each share you would give 223.11 percent off that one share so let's just say you bought multiples of shares you would get that return rate um and how do you do the calculations? So what you would like to do is, once you find your 200 moving day average by 0.8, you would like to subtract that from the stock price, and then you're gonna divide whatever, you're gonna divide whatever that uh, subtraction is, divide by the stock price, and that's how you get your return rate. And if you have the worksheet, you will be able to view all this. I don't know if it shows like the, uh, shows the equation but i don't know y'all have to let me know does it show us the equation y'all can y'all let me know for those who do have it um what's the what's the next one that's the i see 35 i see 52 let's go to 52.04 that's a cruise line nclh that is a cruise line a cruise line is expected to go up Norwegian cruise line uh, next 50 days it's gonna drop again uh, maybe possibly uh, to $14 and one cent and once it dropped to like at least $14 that's a great time to buy so this will be another great stock to invest in so what we gonna do is 50 days from today that was August 3rd we still gonna we still gonna put August 3rd on our list so let's go to our our reminder uh, new reminder let's go back we got schedule uh, what's this I think I need to change this date on the 29th oh on the 29th we invested in this so we need to and nope we need to create another one we need to create another one let's see how do you create a here we go. New, hold on. New reminder. Let's see. Invest in stock. NC, uh, NCLH. And then we're going to change this to August. change that to yeah I like that um it's projecting to be $38.96 but if you multiply that by 0.8 that is what's that what's that what's that mm, I think I passed it that is $31.17 and your return rate would be 52.04 each share so that's pretty good if it drops down to $20 so let's just say if it get at least about $21 that mean it's still right around the ballpark as long as it's like $3 to that stock I think it's a good investment uh, from there you have 35% which is CCL which is uh, I know that star with a C cruise line nope uh, Carnival, that's what it's called. Carnival. It's Delta, hold on. I can see Delta on here, which is weird. Delta is not in, Delta don't, uh, Cash App don't have Delta stock on here. Oh, I do, but it's, it's not. I think uh I don't even remember looking it up. That's crazy. D A L. Okay, it do have Delta. Uh what was we looking up again? Oh, C C L. Okay. Carnival cruise line. So as you
as you look at the at the graph right here on the stockcharts.com right now it's under twenty dollars it's going to dip to like fourteen dollars and forty seven cents so anywhere around fifteen sixteen is a good job it's a good down a good time to invest in uh carnival cruise so let's add to this And the best thing that I can say is, if you're gonna be buying bottles, you're gonna be buying clothes, you're gonna be buying shoes, you're gonna be buying food. At least take 10, 1% of that money. Or, I don't, I don't know how people mind is with their budget, but I ain't gonna be too preachy, but I just don't want money to become like a bad thing or a taboo thing to talk about because money as I am learning going into the stock market this is all an illusion like to be making money in the stock market how do you do that but it's possible it's possible so it's just like yeah you can buy enter you can buy money to entertain yourself or you can buy money I mean, or you can use money. Well, money is a tool. You can use money to generate revenue. This is just crazy. When you start, uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna be right. I'm gonna be honest. Once you start learning certain these, like certain principles and figuring out how the game is set up, how paranomics is set up, you just start thinking like, dang, this is crazy. Um, what's another? Let's see. Let's find like another stock that's real, real good. That's gonna be like, you know, that's gonna be fairly cheap for those that don't have too much to spend. For the young ones out there. Oh, uh, if you invest in GE. You're going to see it trade sideways, but you will be making a little bit of money uh, so you can obtain more shares. But even if you don't obtain a lot of shares, um, the best thing about it that you still will be making some money. So that's the great thing about it with fractional shares. Um, I think those like the top, the top two, because I already got hurt. And I'm gonna continue to invest in Hertz. Uh, UAL, that's a like the airlines is gonna go up again. So like Delta and United, it's gonna go up again. It's gonna go up. Delta is gonna go up 20.85% on your return rate. And then um United gonna go up. Uh AAL, AAL. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Renegade, renegade. Whoa, 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 whoa. AA is American Airlines. It's only gonna go up six point something by the end of the year. So it ain't too bad. Uh, RCL, which is Royal, it's gonna go up over 15%. So you have different, you have different, um, different ways that you can make money but doing your homework and stuff like this this is what you definitely need uh, i'm not going to take as much as y'all time like i did last time but what i am going to do moving forward let me change this let me rename this and change this to transportation and let me update this today is the 15th and let me update this that was the last time I updated that. Uh, I know I finished I finished this yesterday, so let me make sure I update this. I finished this on the 14th. Y'all finished that on the 14th. Okay. Now what we are going to be doing now, we're gonna go on, we're gonna go back to bank and finance and we're gonna go and we're just gonna do these stocks again. So that's what we're gonna do. Finding, I I was looking at the 20-day moving average, the 50-day moving average, but I realized 
I'm in this for long term. So I'm only gonna be focused on the 200 moving day. And everybody that invested in these companies right here made money. Made some money. I only, let me see, DFS, like some of these companies that when I did them, I forgot to invest in them. So I kind of missed out on the opportunity. Or did I? I'll find out once I do it Monday. And this is how it's gonna let me know to keep up with what stocks to invest in and what are the best stocks and the categories on Cash Out. And in Robinhood, uh, how's Robinhood doing? I'm just, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just waiting to see how these stocks do. And then I'm gonna get back into it. So I just got $210 just sitting on chill for Robinhood for right now. So that, I'm gonna just say that, cause I'm gonna be adding money into these stocks, these uh, penny stocks and stuff like that. So I definitely will be doing that. Oh, let's let's pull up uh, my Bitcoin. Let's see what Bitcoin doing. Bitcoin right now, so my, my money is going down. So it's, it's down to 9,000, so, which is cool. I mean, I remember when it was just, it, it peaked up here so we're just having this little mental breakdown. So I'ma let I'ma let I'ma let them do what do what they do. And then it's gonna, you know, get back into it. You feel me? Gonna keep adding dollar cost averaging, that's the principle. Continue to add some money in weekly. So my budget is a hundred dollars. Let me turn this off. My budget is a hundred dollars each week. Sometimes I'm gonna go over a hundred dollars if I find a good stock to invest in like Hertz or Disney um, But after doing my calculations you sometimes I might be wrong and um, Like you never know what a company might have up their sleeve. So just by calculation though at least I have some type of guidance by following data and I think what I Do by doing my homework. I believe in it and I showcase it and whatever mistake I go through I'm going to make sure I display it so thank y'all for watching Chase West is out of here and I hope y'all are making money that's the whole point of this hope y'all are staying sane if social media is weighing a toll on you it's okay to take a break log out uh, read a book meditate um, yeah our emotional welfare is up in arms and our emotional our emotions is constantly being attacked subconsciously so maybe it's, it's a good time to step away but by watching the stocks it give you a little bit more uh, on the path to look and more hope for the future of what your money could be doing instead of crying in a a bike you're gonna be crying in a whatever you see what I mean instead of riding bike is good for the footprint but to get where you want to go comfortably and probably wait in traffic or make a bus a right on that turn, you got to have a car. So uh, That was a bad analogy, but hopefully I made y'all laugh. If I made you laugh, hit the like button. And if you made it this far, comment down a green heart, and I'll see y'all in another video. Chase Way out. Peace.